The Buxton Fringe Festival is happening from the 6th to the 24th of July. It's now in its 37th year. I spoke to the chairman, Keith Savage, to find out what's on offer. Well, the Fringe, uh, it's the 37th Fringe and the range of uh, p- performances and, and arts is, uh, is, is as wide as ever. So there's comedy, there's dance, there's theatre, there's film, there's uh, all sorts of music of different sorts. Um, many of the performers have come from the northwest, the Peak District and Roundabout, but also there'd be lots of people travelling up from Cornwall, from, we've got uh, people from London... And um, we've got one uh, one couple coming from Japan to join us. So there's a. It's not just it's not just Buxton artists and J- Buxton musicians, but people from all over. So there's a nice mix of both local people and people from far and wide. Yes, which I think means that, uh, that, that, that for those that are relatively local, it means that, that they can they can meet old friends if you like, and they've built up loyal audiences and following. But they also means they get to meet with artists and performers from other places which i think is helpful in terms of exposing them to other ways of doing things and so on and what would you say the aim of the festival is well several aims really i mean the the, the f- f- as far as buxton as a town and, for, and the high peak as a, as, an, as an area is concerned it's important that it, it brings uh people to the to the, to the district uh, and with people comes money so the shops restaurants pubs hotels all of those places uh, value it uh, i hope that for the people that live in and around the town they value the opportunity to see and to hear things that, which they can't see for much of the rest of the year simply because of the range of what's available is, is so great and a lot of it is free so it, it doesn't necessarily mean that people have to spend a lot of money to in, to enjoy what's on at the fringe for the people that come to perform it gives many of them a chance to try out stuff in a friendly environment. If you if you if you're a musician or a comedian or a, a, an actor, some environment. If you go to Edinburgh, for example, there's much more cut and thrust about all of that. Uh, Buxton has a reputation, I think, fairly for being a a friendly place to work and a friendly place to perform. So it gives people a chance to 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 try out material and see how it works with audiences. And how can people um, get tickets or how can people get involved in, in the event? Well, ticketing, I wish it was simpler in some respects. M- many shows will be selling tickets through the Buxton Opera House. Uh, the tickets will be on sale by the end of the month. Uh, and if you look at the, f- the Fringe programme, which will also be printed and out by the end of the month, that shows which show which uh, events you can get tickets for from the Opera House box office. Um, otherwise, there's a significant number of shows taking place at um, underground venues based in the Old Hall Hotel. They sell their own tickets from their own box office uh, down in the cellars of the Old Hall. Um, so my only advice really is to look at the programme carefully uh, and to see w- how you can get tickets for individual shows. Most shows, in the end, not, you'll be able to get tickets on the door. Uh, so just turn up at the venue 10 minutes before the show starts and in most cases you'll be able to get a ticket to get in.